are you talking about, Mama? Plants, Wolfie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy, and in my channel I talk about plants and things I feel passionate about. Today I'm doing a video on some of the updates of my Hoyas. Um, some updates of my life first, I guess. Um, in the last video I told you guys that we have sold our home, and I think it's been maybe a week and a half since I, um, since then, uh, we have now have an accepted offer on the home that we want to buy. So pending like, you know, all the kind of procedures and like lawyer work and if all that paperwork stuff works out, then we have a home. So we'll be moving in uh, maybe end of September. Um, yeah. So that's the, a little update of my life now. We're super excited about it and also at the same time, like super exhausted. Uh, okay, so that, that's just my update and I'm just gonna go into some of the updates of these Hoyas for you. Um, for those of you ha who have been following me, uh, you have seen all these Hoyas and I'm just gonna let you know how they're doing. Um, okay, the first one that I'm gonna show you is um, my Hoya Finlay Sonii. This is the newest leaf. Is it focusing? Is it too bright? So this Hoya I've gotten as a cutting and I have rooted it twice. The first time I rotted the cutting and this is the second time that I rooted it and then planted it and Ever since then, it's um, put out quite a few leaves. I think it was just like maybe three leaf plants last year, and now it's it's a pretty vigorous grower. I have this one. I was growing this one underneath the grow life for a really long time, and now I just graduated it uh, to the shelf behind me for like more natural kind of southern window light. The next one I will show you is my um, Hoya Huskeliana yellow. So it hasn't bloomed for me, so I don't know 100% um, sure that it's a uh, yellow flower. But this one, I got I got it a long time ago and it was just recuperating for a super long time. And only recently that it's like um, putting out new leaves. But it's just such an adorable Hoya that I, and I don't think I've ever really featured it. So I wanna sh show you guys. Look how oval and like shiny, it is yeah, super cute. The next one I'll show you is my very adorable overachiever, overachiever, uh, Hoya Matil. It's almost popping open these flowers. I have uh, shown you guys this Hoya many times before and share with you the story of how when I got it, it was traveling due to some uh, po delivery errors. It, it came from Ontario to me, to my city, which is uh, Richmond, BC, and then back to Ontario, back here, I like, think four times. It was traveling for over a month, but then right when it got to me, it just started uh, it, the roots were super dry too, but it just started doing well and putting out new leaves almost instantly. As you can see, it's, it's still got still putting out new leaves and have has a new pedoncle coming in. So I really love this Hoya. The next one I want to update you guys is uh, I've purchased a couple of cuttings of these to root, but all of them really just rotted, and this is the last one I have left. Just this one leaf. And um, uh, I, I just potted it in soil to see if I'll have more um, success with this one. This is a Carnosa Stardust. It's just it's a darker leaf and the speckles are really beautiful. And I really hope that it roots for me. I've had a lot of failures of um, rooting Hoya cuttings these days. A lot of the, uh, my propagation projects are not doing very well. Things are not rooting. And I was talking to my friend about it and she said that since I'm in the process of moving, maybe like my energy is just not very rooting right now. So it's hard for me to root things. And 
that resonates with me because I was rooting things fine before. I, my other theory is that now that it's summer, uh, it's warmer, so I need to kind of adjust the way I, the way that I have been doing my propagating things. Um, maybe it needs more airflow. But the other theory of me like not rooting because I'm moving also resonates with me. So the other thing that wasn't rooting for me that I almost rotted in water was my uh, Hoya Carnosa Wilbur Graves cutting. So this is the beautiful Wilbur Graves. Um, this is the cutting that I took from her. I was doing air layering, but it wasn't it wasn't working out in terms of uh, I just opened it up to look at it and I kind of broke the new like newly formed roots. So it was working, but it wasn't working as a method for me because I just wanted to check. So then after that, I took it out of the, I took the air layering method out and I just decided I'm going to chop it and uh, root it in water. And it was doing fine in water for a long time. Then it just started rotting. So I took it out of the water, chop off the rotted bits and then put rooting hormone and pop it back in the pot with um, the, the tiny mama plant. And it seems to be doing okay. The leaves are getting firmer. So I'm hopeful that it's going to stay with me. It's such a beautiful little plant. So wish me luck on that one. Okay, the next one I'll show you is my Hoya Sunrise. Also, I got it as a cutting and it was not doing very well. Um, but eventually it took root and then it started just throwing out new leaves like crazy. So like, but I'm growing this under my grow light and I don't know if you can see the, so the, it's not turning red, it's kind of turning purplish uh, under the sun stress. So you know like sunrise, when they're a little bit suntan, they has, have this like beautiful red tan to them. And mine is getting sun stressed, light stressed, but in like a different kind of color from what I've seen. Maybe the light might be too intense for it. Maybe I need to scale it back a little bit. But yeah, otherwise it's putting out new leaves. It's really happy. I don't know if this lighting is good for you guys to see the plant. Yeah. Another plant that I, um, that's doing pretty well, I'm growing it in my modern sprout grow frame. It really likes that light in there is my Clemensorium. So I watched a video on this uh, Hoya, uh, the Vermont uh, Hoya's video, and he said that it's quite a slow grower, but I think this guy just really loves the grow light that I'm, or, or the growing condition I have him under. Because uh, it's put out maybe five leaves since coming to, since being in that environment. Um, yeah, it's just such a, the texture is really, really firm. And the veins are, you can just really feel all the, the veins. Really beautiful Hoya. Yeah, so that's the update on this one. And then a small update, I have four new leaves, so really two fishtails from on this uh, polynera. So these are the two new leaves up here. I have took a cutting from the top, now it's put, put out uh, two more leaves. This is really one of my favorite Hoyas. It's just so elegant, so whimsical. So beautiful. Okay, the next one I'll show you is the one that I I bought when it was first uh, first imported from Vietnam, and it was it needed a lot of acclimating, and uh, it kind of um, you know I've shared the journey with you guys how I acclimated it, um, and since then it's put out three big leaves. This is the Hoya Sarawak. So this is one of the new leaves, it's just so, so big. And then we have one here on top that's new. 
and it's working on this new one right now. I think it's still going to grow a little bit bigger because the if you can see the difference in color of the new leaves, it still has that um, kind of reddish tint to it. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. It's such a big leaf and it's so succulent. The veins are so gorgeous. I have a lot of people asking me for a cutting, but I just can't bring myself to cutting this one. I just love it so much. So I think I'm just going to keep it as is. There's that one. Okay, I have only just two more to show you. I have my Hoya Chelsea here. I've shown you guys this plant a few times, but it just hasn't grown at all for me. Um, so my only update for you about this plant is that it's put out this one single leaf for me. So it's not a fake plant, it's a real plant. Um, and it's not even a particularly gorgeous new leaf, but you know, it's doing something now. It's tried a couple times and the new leaves uh, dried up, but this one has successfully grown. And I have put it on a trellis instead of letting it trail down just so that I could see all the leaves and also like Maybe let it absorb, get more lights too. Yeah. So that's the update for the beautiful Hoya Chelsea. And lastly, I have two uh, Hoya Fichii and one small one and one bigger one. And today I planted them together. So it's a fuller pot. <laughs> because we're moving, so I'm thinking like I need to purge some of my plants, sell some off. So then I don't have this many plants to move with me, but I just can't bring myself to sell this one. I just, and I thought, I'll just put the two pots together. So then it's just one pot and I don't need to get rid of it. So <laughs> this is my beautiful Hoya Fichii. Isn't that a stunning plant? So this is the one that I added to the pot this morning. It grew so many leaves since coming. The Fichia is actually a really good grower. And someone just commented on my Instagram that it's actually a really good bloomer too, which makes sense because it's such a good grower. So it's working on like a new leaf here. There's quite a few new leaves over here too. Look at this. I just adore this plant. And the leaves are super hard. There you go. Those are the Hoyas I brought over to show you guys the updates. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, I, uh, oh, and if you do, please click like, subscribe, comment, say hi to me. And um, I will keep you guys updated with the move and hopefully make videos on how I pack everything. If you want to take a look at my living space you can see like there are already so many plants over here there's a bunch of hoyas up there and then a bunch of more plants over there and up here more and then there's like two more rooms of lots of plants so wish me luck bye